Hey squad, welcome back. Now in today's video, I'm hoping to answer a question that I've been asked a number of times before, but never really got around to doing a video on it. The question is, what's the most efficient way of combining or merging two Logic Pro projects together? That's what I'm hoping to share with you today. So let's dive in. So here's an example of a project where I needed to do just that. I've got this production right here, where I've got a combination of elements which I've already laid down. So I've got my bass, I've got a guide vocal, some guitar tracks, some keys, and some synth parts. I'm also using Logic's drummer as my demo drummer for now, but essentially what I wanna do is send this project off to my nephew, Tim, who is a drummer and will lay down all of the drum tracks for me and then send it back to me. Now I'm a big user of Waves plugins and I've got all of these plugins on my production so far. Now Tim hasn't got the full suite of Waves plugins like I've got. And therefore what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna bounce the drums in place like so. I'm gonna mute both of these. Then rather than sending all of the stems out individually, he just needs a stereo bounce of the rest of the production. I'm turning off normalized, and then I'm just gonna hit bounce here. Now this is the project Tim will receive to which he will record his drums. Okay, so as you can see, the drums have been laid down. We've got our kicks, we've got our snares, and hats and overheads. Real simple, real straightforward. Um, as you can see, the guide drums have been muted, and we've also got the bounce of the other instruments right here. And this is what Tim has sent back to me. Now what I wanna do is import this project into my original project. Now this one is called Drum Project, and as you can see here, my other project is called Original Project. Now the first thing you wanna do is make sure the project you want to import is not open. So let's actually close this project. Now we'll go to File, Import, Logic Projects. We'll navigate to the folder where the project is held and the project we wanna pull in is called Drum Project, Import. Over in the File Manager section, you can see all of the tracks and the track types that you can pull into your master project. Let's pull this out a bit more. So the type of track right here, we've got audio tracks all here. We've got a stereo track and we've got master. Now I'm gonna select all of the audio tracks. Of course, if we had some MIDI tracks or software instrument tracks in here that we wanted to pull in, then of course we'd select them as well. But all I'm looking for is audio tracks. I don't wanna pull in the stereo out, nor do I wanna pull in the master. We'll stick with the ones that we've got in my original track over here. Remember what we're looking at here is the project with Tim's drums. In fact, we don't want old drums, nor do we want project bounce. We only want the drums to be pulled in. Over here, if Tim had used any plugins on the tracks that I felt um, would be helpful and we had the same plugins, then of course I would select the plugins. Also, if you'd used any sends or separate outs, then of course I'll select those. And if he had sent any of these to separate buses, then I would select and choose that. Automation as well, all of this stuff I could choose to bring in. I can now filter things so only the audio tracks are displayed. And now all I need to do is hit add. Now it does take a minute to think about what it's gonna do and you might think nothing's happening, but just give it a few seconds and you'll see the tracks have been imported. So let's have a quick look and see what we've got. Have we got everything? Yep, now everything is lined up and now I can just pull all my drums um, up top. In fact, I'll pull all of the other things below the drums so I keep them all nice and tidy like so. And there you have it. We've merged our two projects together. Everything's properly lined up. And if there were effects plugins on any of these tracks, they would have been pulled in as well. But of course they weren't, so we're good to go. And that's it really. Now as always, if I'm bringing you value, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. It's always great hearing from you. Until next time, I'm Deuce, I'm out, peace.